Welcome back to Low Stress Math with Mrs. Bono. We are on Chapter 1, Linear Equations, Lesson 12, More Identifying Numbers of Solutions to a Linear Equation. Solve for the equation for the variable. Okay, this is a do now, so pause the video and do it now. Okay, welcome back. What's the first thing we do? Well, combine like terms. So we are going to draw a line through here and get the x's on the same side of the equal sign. So minus x, minus x. And I know you remember x minus x is zero, minus two equals zero plus seven. Well, zero minus two is negative two, and zero plus seven is seven. Wait a second, negative two is not equal to seven. That's not true. This is not true. This is not a true equation. This equation has no solution. Why? Because there's absolutely no number that we can put in as x to make this work. Zero minus two, negative two. Zero plus seven, seven, not equal. One minus two, negative one. One plus seven, eight. Two minus two, zero. Two plus eight, it's never ever gonna work. No matter what number we pick, what fraction we pick, no number will work. So there is no solution for this. Okay, well, let's take a look at the next problem. Solve the equation for the variable. Okay, well, nothing happens on this side. 3x minus eight equals three times x, three x, three times three, minus nine, minus two. Okay, let's combine like terms. Negative nine minus two. Negative nine minus two is negative seven. So now I have three x minus eight equals, I just lied, three x, negative nine minus two is negative 11. My apologies. So now I have up oh, 3x on both sides, so let's subtract 3x from both sides and get negative 8 equals negative 11. Ooh, that is also very untrue. Not true, not true, not true. No number we can put in for x is going to make any of this true. So, this is also no solution. But at what point do I know that it's no solution? Well, I knew it right here. Why? Because I had the same coefficient and variable on both sides of the equation, but I had different constants. So how do I know? Same coefficient, and different constants. If we cannot find a solution to the equation and we haven't made a mistake, now we're going to talk about mistakes tomorrow, but if you haven't made a mistake, then the equation has no solution. So let's try a few problems. Let's look at this one. 4 times x, 4x minus 4 times 2, 8 equals... 5x minus 7, and I'm going to change that to, yeah, you know what, just leave it as minus x. But I'm going to put a 1 in here. I want it to be minus 1x. So now I have to combine like terms. 5x minus 1x. So on this side of the equal sign, I have 4x minus 8 equals 5x minus 1x is 4x minus 7. Right here, I know these are. this is not going to work. There is no solution. How do I know? I have the same coefficient, but a different constant. So if I continued it and did minus 4x from both sides, you would see negative 8 equals negative 7. And know that it's not equal, it's not equal, it's not equal, it's not equal. No x is going to work here. So, no solution. Okay. 
but I knew it from here when I saw the same co coefficient, but a different constant. I knew from that point on, it was not gonna work. All right, let's look at this. First, we're gonna combine some like terms. 5x and 3x is 8x minus two. Then, let's see, three times x, 3x, three times four plus 12, plus 5x minus 16. Oh, there is an awful lot going on there, isn't there? Combining like terms, 3x plus 5x, and then 12 minus 16. That side stays fine. 8x minus 2 equals 8x, 12 minus 16, negative 4. Up, oh, I know now this is not going to work. Same constant, sorry, same coefficient, different constant. So we're stopping. Eh, nah, finish it off. Minus 8x from both sides. I get negative 2 equals negative 4. And I know that that's not helping anybody. No, negative 2 equals negative. It does not equal that. None of this is real. It's not true. So, wow, that is a sloppy looking mess, isn't it? I'll write a little neater. Here we go. There is no solution. If you get down here and it's not equal, there's no solution. And I always go back and say that everything is not equal. Because if this is not equal, then none of this is equal. All right, top of the next page. Pause the video and do the checkpoint. I'll wait for you. Did you pause the video? I hope you did, because the only way to learn math is to do math. So let's do some math. Four times x, four x, four times two, minus eight. And nothing to do on this side except add a one to this x. Hmm. Three x plus one x is four x minus two minus 4x from both sides. I get negative 8, not equal to negative 2, so none of this is equal. And so there's no solution. If I go back and tell whether there is one unique solution or no solution, the answer is no solution. Show how you arrived at your answer. There's my, or that's how I arrived at my answer. I'm good there. 3 times x, 3x, three, 3 times minus 4 minus 12 equals up oh, 2 times x, 2x, two, 2 times 6 minus 12. Well, look, I have different coefficients. So I already know that I'm only going to have one answer. So let's find that one answer. Minus 2x from both sides. I get x minus 12 equals negative 12. I'm going to add 12 to both sides. And I get x equals 0. <sighs> Thank goodness. I showed my work. I got one solution. All right. Yay, puffy cloud of happiness. Puffy clouds of happiness. All right. And on to the next part, which is where you have to start thinking. And can you tell me the difference between an equation with no solution and an equation with an infinite solution? Hmm. So, let's see. Hmm. No solution and one solution. Wait, sorry. No solution and infinite solutions. What could the difference be? Oh, I know. They have something in common. Both, no solution, and infinite solution have the same coefficient. So that's helpful. So what's the thing that they have that's not the same? Well, 
infinite solution has the same constant. No solution has a different constant. So let's write that down. Infinite solutions have the same constants. And no solution has different constants. And I'm just going to put a little example down here. I'm hoping you can read that nicely. So in other words, if I have 4x plus th minus 3 equals 4x minus 3, that is infinite solutions. How do I know? Same coefficient, same constant. But if I have 4x plus 3 equals 4x minus 3, I have the same co coefficient but different constants. That's no solution. All right, my friends, you have some independent work to do. Next page, independent practice. Pause the video and do these problems. I'll wait for you. Are you back? Did you try the problems? I hope you tried the problems. Let's read the directions. Tell whether each equation has one solution, infinite solutions, or no solution. So I have three choices here. And then I have to explain how I know. Oh gosh, explain how I know. Well, I could do it by using math. It's always my favorite way to show what I'm doing. Here we go, let's do this. So I have here 3x plus 5 equals 2x. I already know one solution. I'm going to write that down. One solution. Now how do I know that? Because I have a different coefficient. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides and get x plus 5 equals negative 7. Then I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides and get x equals negative 12. There you go. Puffy cloud of happiness because there's only one solution to that problem. All right, let's take a look at this one. I don't know. Let's do some more. 4x plus 5 is good. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And negative 4, remember, scoop up that little negative sign. Negative times negative is positive 4x. Okay, same coefficient, 4, different constants. Oh, dear. What does that mean? Do you remember? Yeah, that's no solution. Let's write that down. No solution. A little puffy cloud of happiness. And let's finish it off. Minus 4x from both sides. And we have 5, which is very much not equal to negative 4. So this is not true, this is not true, there's no solution. All right, so onward, ever onward, two more problems. If you didn't do them, stop the video and try. You can do this. Ugh, only way to learn math is to do math. So let's do some math. 2 times x, 2x. 2 times minus 1, minus 2, minus 6, equals 10 times 1, 10. 10 times minus 10x plus 6. All right, let's do some combining like terms. Negative 2 minus 6, and then 10 plus 6. The number always gets the sign in front of it. So this sign is positive, so that's plus 6. This sign is minus, so it's negative 6. You always suck up the uh, sign in front of the number. So here I have 2x minus 8 equals negative 10x plus 16. Oh, look, they're very different. This means there's going to be just one solution. I already know. I didn't do it yet, but I already know. Now I'm going to finish it off, and I'm going to 
let's see, add 10 next to both sides, and I get 12x minus 8 equals 16. I'm going to add 8 to both sides. I'm running out of room because I write too big. And I get 12x equals 24. Divide by 12. Divide by 12. X equals 2. Poof. There's my one solution. Okay, let's slither this over a little. you got to be able to see the whole thing here. All right, so nothing on this side. Ugh, I've got to do some math before I can figure this. Negative 7x minus 10 equals through ne negative 3x. Suck up that negative sign. Negative times negative is positive 6 minus 4 times x. Remember, this is suck up that negative sign. Negative 4 times x to be minus 4x. And negative 4 times negative 1 to be positive 4. Okay, the sign in front of the number is the sign of the number. If it's a minus sign, it's negative. If it's a plus sign, it's positive. All right, let's see. Leave this alone. Negative 7x minus 10 equals, ugh, combining some like terms. Negative 3x and negative 4x is negative 7x. 6 plus 4 is 10. <gasps> Look, it's exactly the same on both sides. That means infinitely many solutions. Okay, and we're good, right? So if, we, if you didn't do them, pause it and try. You gotta keep trying. All right, so in, I'm gonna rewrite this one because it's kind of squished up into there as five plus negative one times x, times x, shush, times eight y plus 10 equals negative 8y minus 5. Okay, I did that so you could see clearly that this is negative 1 times both of these. So 5 plus negative 8y plus negative 10 equals negative 8y minus 5. All right, 5 plus negative 10 is negative 5. So 8y, negative 8y, don't lose your negative sign there, minus 5 equals negative 8y minus 5, infinite solutions. Exactly the same on both sides. Oh, that was hard. I like that problem. Things that make you think. All right, 3 times 4, 12y. Suck up that sign. 3 times negative 2, negative 6 equals 18y. Suck up that negative sign. Negative 2 times 3, minus 6y. And suck up that negative sign. Negative times negative is positive 6. All right. 12, that's fine. 12y minus 6 is good. 18y minus 6y is 12y plus 6. Now, that looks very similar, but they're not exactly the same. Look, if I subtract the 12y from both sides, I get negative 6 equals 6. And think about that for a second. Is that true? No, it's not true at all. Negative 6 does not equal 6. None of these are equal. This is not true. This is no solution. All right, take care, relax, enjoy Halloween, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.